Vincent Martella is Phineas's VA. I taught everyone what an aglet is. Phineas and Ferb would like a word. That's me, bro. Oh, I'm so sorry for disrespecting you. <laughs> this is my first comment ever on YouTube. You guys should feel honored. And who the hell are you? Uh, Jonathan Stevens, it says it right there, you illiterate piece of crap. Every night before bed, I study a picture of Tony Hawk so that if I ever run into him in public, I will not be one of those people. <laughs> I feel like he kind of likes it, though. He's the only guy as famous as he is who does not get hounded all that much in public, right? At least according to his stories of no one ever recognizing him. <laughs> he might have the best deal of any celebrity ever, you know? I would totally feel comfortable talking to Tony Hawk, but if I ran into Harrison Ford, I'll pretend like the man's not even real <laughs> because I know he doesn't want to fucking talk to me. <laughs> Joshua Izzo, the VP in charge of non-film Avatar canon. Of what? Nicely done. First Flight, though, is currently undated in canon. Joshua Izzo actually did state that it is canon. Source, you're talking to him. Yeah, I'm him. Wait, for real? Wow. Yes, I'm sure this person knows nothing about books and narratives. I don't go to MCU movies, don't really care for them, but I find this barely masked gloating over the low box office for the Marvels very unpleasant. Why gloat over failure? Failure literally drives us to improve. Try reading a book sometime. Most stories have that narrative. There's no way anyone on the planet who claims to be knowledgeable in narratives of any kind would look at the name Stephen King and tell him to go read a book and learn about stories. No way in hell this is an actual person. This one's a bit niche, but explaining OG Halo to the best OG Halo player. All right, let's see. Back in my day, they called them Killtaculars. You're wrong. Killtaculars were five kills within four seconds of each other. Halo 1 and 2, it was the name for the fourth kill. You know, I don't know who Tom Ryan is, but it, you know what? I'm going to take the internet's word for it today. I believe you. Double kill, triple kill, overkill, killtacular. Ah, oh, my childhood. I'm more of a m -m 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 monster kill kind of guy. You know, growing up, I didn't play a lot of Halo, but I did play a lot of split screen Red Faction 2 with my buddies, and I got some different ones. I got like Butcher and stuff like that from that game. I remember those ones quite fondly. Also, digging tunnels to each other rather than actually playing the PvP modes with rocket launchers because that was way more fun in Red Faction 1. Inexperienced expert. Wait, what? You can be that? I was installing a new type of microwave radio on a cell site and called RAN support when I had issues with the hardware. He was adamant that it was user error and recommended that I call a more experienced engineer who had a more, a more knowledge of the systems and could help fix my issue. He then proceeded to send me my own contact details. <laughs> well, uh, it's good to know that they know you're an expert, but shit, why are they the ones that you have to call? A senior civil servant has taken control of Stormont's finances? Neil Gibson has done s I don't care or know who any of these people are. Mr. Gibson will use emergency powers to release cash to departments until a new budget is in place. Why do you copy and paste BBC News? Or did they copy you? Well, I'm the BBC's economics and business editor in Northern Ireland. The stories I write go across different platforms. Post-work family selfie from Goa? Does Baby Tara look more... what? Congratulations! And what happened to first legally wedded wife? Anyways, nice family picture. What does it matter to you, nosy auntie? Because I am still his legally wedded wife who was thrown out of house. What the hell is this? this was this an entire fake thread? What am I looking at? This doesn't feel real in the slightest, dude. Old Gods of Asgard is a band in the Remedy universe, Malin Wake, Control, who are played by Poets of the Fall. That is very true. I love them. They are awesome. Recently, we've seen comments or even accusations that we sound a lot like a band called Old Gods of Asgard. <laughs> well, we have all the respect for this band and their work in the 70s and 80s. All similarities between our music are purely coincidental. Okay? Poets of the Fall are not thieves. I promise you guys. Also, for the love of God, please play Alan Wake 2. On a post about the best kills in the Hitman franchise. The absolute mad lad that set up the German level in Hitman 3 to where every single agent dies as he sits down at the table to turn himself in or whatever. That sounds cool. He posted it here, I think. No idea how to find it again. Well, of course I know him. He's me. Correcting a pro wrestler's own mother regarding his age. <laughs> He's only 22? Damn. 25. 
He was born in 2001. He is my son. I am his mother. Love you. <laughs> I think I would know when he was born and how old he is. He came out of my body. The Punisher would be a lot prettier if he smiled more. <laughs> Um, I know what you're getting at here, but the jab doesn't work due to his backstory and personality. He actually has a huge plot point as to why he doesn't smile a lot. Try harder. Dude, shut the hell up, dork. Nice collection of what looks to be mostly female-centric comic books that literally has nothing to do with my comment, nor the topic under discussion. We're not discussing it. You are just saying words, and that's it. You're practically talking to yourself, you dork-ass loser. Unless if you're pointing out what is most likely fact that you know very little about Punisher's backstory. <laughs> Read the names of the writer on the spine. Now look at her name. Okay, so she's a comic book author. That actually makes her case look worse seeing uh, how she should know better. Wow. Dude, between the two of us, which one actually has written the Punisher, do you think? <laughs> which one? Which one, buddy? Which one? You know what? I want to see him continue to make a goddamn fool of himself. Best-selling author receives rare opportunity to be a best-selling author. Is that right? My spam is getting stranger. Why don't you have your own book on Amazon? Dear Dan Brown, work directly with the ghostwriter. You'll work directly with our experienced ghostwriter, a best-selling author you've probably seen on TV. So Dan Brown's novels have sold over 200 million copies in print. So I've got a sneaky suspicion that whatever bot sent this email just absolutely isn't getting it. Doctor suggests I read my own article. I suffer from an extremely rare medical condition that I was struggling to manage. I showed up to a GP appointment, and my doctor offered to email me a link to an article he'd found on managing my condition long term. He brought the article up on his computer and read sections of it out to me while I patiently nodded along. I then asked him to scroll back up to the top so I could point out the author's name. My name. His soul left his body. Well, it seems like it was a, a fun experience. I have to give some credit to the doctor here. Okay, he didn't realize you'd written the article, but credit to him for putting in the effort to find an article specifically about your condition. I'm with you. 99% of doctors these days only say, oh, I don't know, I think this is stress, and call it a day. Stress or anxiety, one of the two. And generally, it's anxiety, so they can get you the hell back out the door. Right where it belongs. No! Damn. Well, it's true. Paramore's albums are the Bibles. They are sacred. Do you like Paramore? I love them. I grew up with them, and I'm a real fan. Did you just ask Haley Williams if she likes Paramore? Hey, she might not. You never know. It might just be a job to her. From the comments on the history of red algae from Journey to the Micros Microcosmos. Jesus, that's a weird word. I actually helped come up with the name. Nice to see it adopted in textbooks and by you. One small comment. I now exclusively use the term psyllium to refer to the eukary... Topic organelle, so that folks do not confuse this organelle with the flacella of bacteria, which are completely different. Sure you did. This person could be legit. Could be. What? The word archaeplastidi... Pl archaeplastida, sorry, I, I haven't been in a frickin' science classroom in a long time. First appeared in this publication on which I am a co-author. Hmm. Oh, goddamn. I love that. Oh, this person could be legit. Could be! Did you even read the article you wrote? Wait, what? The reason most families are dual income is wages have risen. What? That's not actually what this says. You should read it. He wrote the article, dude. LOL. I'm sure you have a ton of experience firing a fully automatic weapon. Six years in the army, much of that as an infantry team leader. Primary weapon was an M4, also trained with M240, M249, M2A1, light and heavy machine guns. They sucked to clean. You could say I have a lot of experience. Obviously a lot more than Kid Rock. Have a nice day. Startup founder explains technology concepts to creator of said technology. Just had an amazing random interaction with a new founder explaining his startup to me. Him. Do you know Terraform? I do! Explains Terraform concepts. I've got it, yeah. I started the project. Wait, what? I tried to joke it off as much as possible. I really don't care. But I think he died a little bit inside. I wasn't even going to tell him, honestly, but I felt bad he was spending time explaining concepts that I helped create, so I cut him short. Probably, uh, probably a good move. World records broken today, baby! Someone call up Summoning Salt. Gotta rewrite the video. Edit. Uh, no need. Love the videos. No need to call him. He already knows. OP is Summoning Salt. Governor Schwarzenegger post banned from bodybuilding. What? What happened? Hold on. Well, that's a new one, I must say. I feel like he would know a little bit about that. 
He's actually really well known there. Must have either been a bot or power tripping mods. Or he broke the rules? I'm sure it doesn't happen on Reddit, but it would be nice if rules applied equally to everyone, including celebrities. I mean, yeah. Scolding a TV anchor talking about his own work. Scolding? Now, this is how it's done. Watch local Denver reporter Kyle Clark call out Lauren Boo Boo for taking credit for federal funding in her district she voted against. This is getting a lot of traction, but it's nothing special. It's basic, straightforward journalism. I imagine every station in Denver did something very similar. Way to kick dirt on someone's good work. Um, it's my work. Don't downplay it, Kyle. Don't downplay it, my man. I'm sure he's seen it. Train spotting parodies usually bore the crap out of me, but I quite like this one. Have you even seen train spotting? Excuse me, uh, okay. Well, who is it? He wrote the novel, which the movie is based upon. Ah. He might not have watched the movie then, I don't know, man. <laughs> Movies tend to be a little bit different than their uh, novel counterparts, are they not? The author of a book series about JavaScript doesn't know JavaScript. Oh, I didn't know that, that's kind of crazy. <laughs> My job search so far. Let's see, one company had me go through an outsourced technical screen, coding basic JavaScript, then said I didn't do well enough on that for them to move forward. Apparently, I still don't know JavaScript. So yeah, guess you could say things are going great. Wow, that's kind of insane. Woo! Recruiters definitely know their jobs super well. The fact he's buying cheap crap and selling it for seven to eight pounds per spud is nuts. Why do people buy into this crap? POV, you know nothing about food service. Considering I've run hotel kitchens, restaurants, and bars, now as a private chef on a super yacht, I think I'm more than qualified to know a thing or two about food service. Classic British crap is all it is. What was this on a cop? What was this for? Huh? Also, I don't believe you, on a super yacht? Seems a little weird, dude. Come on, why don't you give me your resume? Cleanest sewer water I've seen on video in India. Do you realize that the whole country doesn't look like that, or else people would not have been living there? People like you are the reason they only cover that side of India. Bro, I'm Indian. <laughs> I think people that live in India would know what the country is like. Directly under the post in which he shares the legal letters that have been exchanged. I hate that people don't get her point of view. She literally gets death threats and has stalkers because of public information, and she isn't some poor person. What makes you say I'm not poor? I wasn't talking about you? Are you talking about Jack Sweeney? Yes, that's me. Now, the dude probably argued for 300 more lines in the thread. Commenter thought YouTuber stole his Bionicles redesign from himself. It's fascinating how this man both uses master builder level techniques and yet also feels like he's never touched a Lego set in his life. Guilty as charged. I died inside when I saw him using all those illegal techniques. I only saw a few of them. That's because he didn't design the mock or the MOC. I don't know. How? A guy on Reddit made it about a year ago. I'm the guy on Reddit. Good lord. Artist confirms his own Easter egg. Here's a super geeky Easter egg that I snuck into Mizu's design. The notch in her casa is, it is casa, right? Is a nod to the infamous dent in the helmet of Boba Fett. It's a good way to show that Mizu has been through some previous battles without drawing much attention to itself. Was this confirmed? Is this just speculation? Anyway, I really doubt it. I can confirm it. That's what I, I am confirming it. It was a reference to Noam Chomsky, uh, noted linguist and ideologue. We thought it was funny for Toby to name a rodent-like creature who only talks in gibberish after him. I think it's kind of a circle. I think it's a reference to the one from Half-Life, and the Half-Life one is a reference to Noam Chomsky. I wrote the episode he first appears in. It was a reference to Noam Chomsky. We didn't find out about the Half-Life thing until after. Dang, kind of funny. Okay, yeah. Best spinner of all time. Very disappointed in NZ News... What? Never mind. In not playing a spinner in the World Test Championship, as this wicket is going to spin big with huge footmarks developing already. You are not speaking English. What the hell are you talking about? Remember, if it seems it will spin, India make anything more than... I, I, I literally don't understand the word you're saying. Jane, do you understand how spin works? The pitch gets dry. This pitch won't get dry, because for the rest of the test, there is due to be rain. I don't understand what I just read, like, at all. Dude's an economist. Where does this nonsense come from? Fiat money is against the teaching of every major religion, but most have conveniently forgotten this. Bitcoin is sound money. Any serious theologian must favor it. 
From a deep and learned understanding of all the fields involved, do you have a different understanding or will it just be ad hominems? I am an economist. <laughs> uh, someone figured out about ad hominems and um, decided to throw it out on Twitter to make themselves sound smart. Yeah, that's not how it works. The stars in their courses. One of the pitfalls to communication lies in that little phrase, it's obvious. What is obvious to A, alas, is by no means obvious to B, and is downright ridiculous to C. For instance, just a week ago, a storekeeper was writing out a receipt for me. He asked my name, and I gave it, and, as I do automatically, began to spell it, slowly and clearly. I am absurdly sensitive about having my name misspelled. He got the Isaac right, but by the time I had gotten as far as A-S-I in the spelling of the last name, he had raced ahead and finished it as M-O-F. No, 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 I said pettishly. It ends with a V. A V. He changed it to Asimov. Looked at it a moment, and then said, I see. You spell it the way the author does. Well, obviously I do, but it came as a big surprise to him that I chose to do so. <laughs> okay, I love the way that was written. That was beautiful. I just watched a baby ask Juju Smith-Schuster if she could have a few bucks. He was nice and said yes. Then she asked, are you a Steelers fan? He said, yeah, something like that. I said his name correctly, didn't I? Juju Smith-Schuster? It, 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 it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Arguably the best hockey player of all time. <laughs> Some kid at the Hockey Hall of Fame told Wayne Gretzky how to hold a hockey stick. And you know what? Because Wayne Gretzky kicks ass, he probably took the lesson in stride and actually, uh, maybe improved his game a bit. <laughs> I mean, look, it was some kid. It was just some kid. Who gives a crap, man? Wayne seems like the type of guy to not really care and just have fun with that moment. Arguably. My guy, it ain't arguable. He's arguably the greatest athlete of all time. He is the greatest hockey player of all time. Bro has his number retired league-wide. I mean, come on now. <laughs> Just the hockey league, though. Yeah, I mean, I don't really know enough about... I mean, I know who he is. I know about that legacy. But when it comes to the greatest athlete of all time, I don't know. I have no idea. He's definitely on the list for sure, but... I don't, know, I don't follow athletes or sports nearly enough to be part of that conversation. <laughs> Sounds like a white woman with vegan in their name, all right. Speaking on yet another issue they know nothing about. Or maybe you do know about owning a comic store or... Wait, or maybe you do? What? Hi, Jason. I'm co-owner of Toy Vomit, a successful collectible store with a great team of around 10 employees that focuses on pre-loved collections and, you guessed it, old comics. Come by anytime you want to talk about the industry. <laughs> nice. It's beautiful. How much you know about Chinese stuff? Gee, I wonder. I am Chinese. It's a culture thing. You don't follow it. Expect to have a rough relationship with everyone and get nothing in the end. My recommendation? Follow family tradition. You pay theirs, they will pay yours in return. Wrong. <laughs> you will get little to nothing of true value in the end if you spend your life placating. Is it not place? Is it placating? Or play? Parasitic relationships. Not saying she needs to burn bridges, but stating her values will help others know how to help and respect her. Wrong. How much you know about Eastern, particularly Chinese cultures? I wonder. I am Chinese. Uh, wonder how much you know about women and systemic sexism and how screwed OP will be based on her situation if she tries to just go along with it. OP is definitely better off trying to find a way to participate in this tradition as little as possible. This made me laugh a little too much. Why did XB stop playing Ark? Does anyone know? Boredom. Did he say that? Pretty sure he did. Um, yeah, he said it. On benchmark performance of LLMs? Alright, let's see. Today we're announcing Claude 3, our pointless piece of stupid trash. No need to overhype. If you look into the actual test, you'll see that it is still just memorization-based stuff. LLMs fail simple reasoning tasks, and there's no reliable way to fix that, so... Smart-ass little smiley face. I did look into the actual test, as I'm the first author on the paper introducing the data set. Here's that smiley back for you, douchebag. Alright, let's see. Comments on, this is the best home car lift. He thinks he's smarter than an engineer. I am an engineer. <laughs> uh, hey, commenter, what do you do? Are, are you anything? Can't stop watching videos to my song F Off. Two people who had nothing to do with the creation of the song just blatantly leeching someone else's creativity, albeit extremely vulgar and juvenile, for clout. I hate it here. Um, it's my song. Then you have no place on Thus App. The creator is more popular than you. What? What does that mean? What are your credentials? Zero data to support this claim. Please don't do this. Alright, let's see. 
Fasting 72 hours literally causes your body to eat up diseased tissues, tumors, inflammation, and toxins that are not conducive to health. Well, he's a doctor. What are your credentials? All right, well, let's see what his credentials are. Dad, husband, thoracic surgeon. Wow, director of a memorial what, hospital, I assume, in Mumbai? All right, cool. So the guy definitely knows what he's talking about. Also, yeah, I, 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 immediate, I read that tweet and immediately thought, fasting for 72 hours will cause your body to eat up tumors? What the hell? Huh? Telling a League One top-tier player they don't know about the game. He's balanced as is. Trust me, I would know. Tyrant is an unforgiving class. A glass cannon. High damage, low health. If you suck, you're gonna suck. I don't care if you think you would know it's a weak glass cannon. Now I would bet money I've played longer than you. I'm a League One player. I was walking around in India and someone asked for a picture. So I asked my translator to ask him what his favorite Mr. Beast video is. And he said that he doesn't know what a Mr. Beast is and just wanted a photo with a tall white guy. <laughs> How tall is Mr. Beast? I, I do find that funny. I'm not expecting that to happen when I do eventually get around to visiting other countries. Uh, I know at the top of my list is Japan. You know, you always hear rumors about a six foot three blonde haired, blue eyed white dude might garner a little bit of attention. But man, if Mr. Beast is getting stopped and they don't know who he is, just white man. I mean, yeah, it might actually happen at least once, right? Got any uh, uh, Japanese followers of MK that are willing to escort me around the country and show me everything? <laughs> Look, man, I'm scared. I obviously can't speak Japanese and I've got tattoos. I don't want people to be mad at me. Trying to explain football contracts. All right. Uh, Armstead had a $28 million cap hit for the 49ers. And he has a $25 million in dead money. I think it's possible he could be a June 1 cut to split the dead money. Yeah, okay. More stuff I can't understand. That's not how post-June 1 designation works. Lol. You just quoted me my own article to explain to me how a June... Is it June 1 or June 5? I don't know what the hell they're saying! Telling an active NASCAR driver he doesn't watch NASCAR. <laughs> Burning up the blacktop. How long has it been since you've heard a cup car hit the limiter at the end of the straightaway? <laughs> this tweet just shows you don't actually watch NASCAR. Correct. Again, why would he need to? He lives it. Mikey Neumann is the writer and creative director of Borderlands. Is it Neumann or Newman? Anyway, plus two Borderlands comic series and a bit of the second game. Okay, okay. The first trailer for the live-action Borderlands movie has been released. I am here for Jamie Lee Curtis, best casting ever of Patricia Tannis. Looks great. This looks like hot garbage. Did you even play Borderlands? Screw you for this. I'm gonna be real. It does not look great or good by any means. It looks stupid and batshit fun, I will say. And the only reason I am interested in seeing it only is Kate Blanchett. That is the only goddamn reason I am even a little bit interested at this point, because why the hell was she cast in that role? She's awesome. Why is she playing Lilith? 